Good morning, Dreyfus. Today is Monday, November 12th. I'm Nicholas Zimmerman. Thanks for joining us. I'm Savannah Lee. Stay tuned for information about upcoming concerts and performances, the annual multicultural show, and more. DSOA Today Morning News starts now. Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. If you catch someone doing something awesome and want to show your appreciation, you can fill out a shout-out form located in Student Services and drop it off in the orange box. Shout-outs will be delivered to individuals and some will be announced via the PA every two weeks and occasionally on our show. Over the weekend, Ms. Garcia spotlighted the girls' soccer team who played in the preseason tournament at Dwyer High School. The girls lost to Benjamin 1-0, tied with Dwyer 0-0, and beat Royal Palm Beach High School 1-0. You can use hashtag DSOA Spotlight to recognize something that impressed you at Dreyfus. The Latin Hispanic Heritage Club is hosting the Multicultural Showcase this year on February 1st. The coordinators are looking for students to showcase their talents, regardless of their background. Online auditions must be sent via video submission to dsoa.multicultural at gmail.com. National Honor Society will be giving hours for those who participate in the event as well. For more specific information, see Diana Para. The infamous Turkey Feather Teacher Appreciation Fundraiser is coming back to support Drivers' local club. Students can purchase turkey feathers to dress their teachers' turkeys for the holidays. Feathers will be on sale in room 1303 or in the cafeteria at lunch today through Thursday. Just for 25 cents a feather, you can show your gratitude for all faculty members while donating to the Homeless Coalition for Palm Beach County. For more information, see Ms. Mellon in room 1303. This weekend, our swim team competed in their regional swim meet. Three of our swimmers qualified for states. Rachel Lillenthal is seated 13th in the 500 free. Reese Branzell is seated first in the 100 freestyle, and Kyle Owens is seated 18th in the 100 freestyle. Congrats to our awesome swim team. Go Jaguars! Although club and organization yearbook photos have come to an end, our marquee yearbook staff still needs your help in order for your preferred name and preferred pronoun to, to appear in, this, um, in our publications. You must see the journalism teacher, Ms. Gates, in room 1102, Ms. Kenyon or Ms. Wagner in guidance as soon as possible to ensure that you are cited properly. We have some very important news for seniors at Dreyfus. If you need help in filling out your FAFSA, the Guidance Department has an opportunity for students to get help starting today. Throughout Thursday at lunch, the Education Opportunity Center will be in the Media Center to help with, any, with all of any FAFSA questions. You can sign up now on Naviance under College Website, College Visits. Be sure to bring your parents' 2017 tax return form if you plan on attending. Dreyfus' literary magazine, Seeds, will have their first open mic night of the year. By popular demand, it will be at Harold's Coffee Shop tomorrow. There will be students' poetry, prose, and music. And you can even perform yourself. I really had a blast last time. For more information, contact Becky Hastrup at 561-596-0312. The open mic nights are always fun. Veterans Day was this Sunday and the Dreyfus Music Department is honoring those who served by hosting a Veterans Day concert today at 6 p.m. in Meyer Hall and later this week. You can catch the Music Department's jazz concert on Thursday at 6 p.m. in Meyer Hall. Student tickets are $5 for each show. Don't forget that PRISM is approaching and will be on December 5th at the Kravis Center for the Performing Arts. I can't wait. And now to Jared with today's college football update. Hello Dreyfus, Jared here with today's college football recap. Over the weekend in college football, we saw once again that our Florida teams are struggling. FSU lost to Notre Dame 42-13 in a game that pretty much summed up their whole season. The University of Miami played Georgia Tech and lost 27-21. They finally had something going for them on offense, but lousy play on special teams, costly penalties, and subpar play on defense caused the Canes to lose their fourth straight game. The Gators, however, had a great comeback against South Carolina, coming back from a 31-14 deficit to win 35-31.
and UCF beat the Navy to win their 22nd consecutive game in a row. It is clear that UCF is reaching national notoriety because the college game day will be held at UCF for the first time ever as they take on Cincinnati on Saturday. Thank you, and back to Nick and Savannah. And just to add to that, the Muse does post stories daily on the app so you can stay up to date on Dreyfus News. That's awesome. Well, that's going to do it for us this morning. Thanks for watching. I'm Savannah Lee. And I'm Nicholas Zimmerman. Only four more days until fall break. Be sure to tune in tomorrow.